Hi friends, uh, today we will be talking about anti cavitation valve and I have drawn an auxiliary relief valve over here. Uh, it has a function of a relief valve and, and also an anti cavitation valve. The relief valve function is already explained in my video in YouTube. So, watch that before you are watching this, then only you can properly understand the function of anti cavitation valve. Uh, this is to avoid uh, the cavitation. What is uh, cavitation, you know? bubbles are creating or a small uh, liquid free zone uh, it could uh, result in failures of the equipment also so to avoid cavitation and anti-cavitation valve is used so please go through the relief valve function so we have an auxiliary relief valve over here let's open it up so this is the unit we are opening the relief valve so uh, this inside portion let's open the nut and uh, take the unit inside out uh, okay this is the part actually which uh, works as a relief uh, relief valve which has already been explained in my uh, other video in youtube channel so just refer that so we have a portion outside coming uh, like this which will be actually working as the anti-cavitation uh, valve and uh, we have a, a nut over here a spring inserted there and it will be tightened using uh, this nut so uh, this internal portion is exactly drawn over here you can see here so uh, this in internally we have the relief valve uh, functioning unit and externally we have a uh, body here a, a casing or a cylinder over here we can see uh, this uh, drops uh, and this area is directly connected towards the service gallery and here towards the exhaust gallery normally the auxiliary a relief valve will be kept like this so this is also really fine it will be kept like this and here the bottom portion this portion we have uh, the service gallery and uh, here you can see here we have uh, the exhaust gallery so to connect the exhaust gallery towards the service gallery uh, actually see this is getting open so what happens that the oil from the service gallery or the exhaust gallery getting connected so where is the high pressure and where is the low pressure the oil will be flowing towards the low pressure area so anti cavitation what happens is that a negative pressure is created in the service gallery so what happens oil from the exhaust gallery move towards the service gallery what happens is that this portion comes down this opens and we have an opening over here the same is happening here this unit comes down so we have an opening over here so through this opening the oil from the exhaust gallery will come towards the service gallery helping the service gallery to avoid cavitation so that's exactly what's happening over here this spring will be uh, in tension so what happens that when the pressure over here drops and we have more pressure uh, here in the exhaust gallery this unit drops so we have opening over here and we have ports over here so the exhaust gallery the oil from the exhaust gallery enters uh, these holes I mean we have holes over here it enters through these holes and passes through this area and it opens and it comes from the exhaust gallery towards the service gallery supporting the service gallery to avoid cavitation that's how uh, the anti-cavitation process is happening and that's how an anti-cavitation valve is actually uh, working I hope you understand it 